Whoa. Technical errors. So today I'm going to talk about the Milwaukee M12 fuel 12 volt lithium ion brushless cordless four in one installation drill driver. It comes with four tool heads. As you can see, you have an offset head, head here. You have a quarter inch hex chuck, a right angle um, head, and then you also have a Jacobs chuck, which is all metal, and it has it has a plastic um, actuator on the back, but the actual chuck itself is metal. It comes with two, two uh, amp hour 12 volt M12 batteries. It also comes with the 12 volt charger. This is just the 12 volt charger. It does not come with the M18 uh, hybrid charger. You get this contractor bag that actually has multiple, kind of like little pockets. It's got the four pockets for the heads here. So they'll fit in like this. And then you got the drill. Actually, I do have one of the actual batteries on the actual drill itself. And then you have your kit. So it all comes like this. So let's pull this back out and take a look at it. So um, right now I have uh, a T bit inside here you've got a hex drive that is um, just a friction fit um, as you can see here you have these little um, teeth going around there's uh, four on the bottom four on the top for actually um, placement of the different heads so this right here is obviously is the right angle and if you notice here this one has actually a total of 12 different um, actual little teeth and then you have something similar to like an allen gear drive which will fit into this hex um, this quarter inch hex so i'm going to put this on right now and if i pull here i can just turn it around in whatever angle i like And it's pretty easy to do for the most part. Um, sometimes you actually have to, you know, line up this actual hex with the uh, hex here so that it'll actually go in. So that's where if you ever have any difficulty getting it on, you might just have to kind of turn that around to get it like right here. See, I have to snug it in there. So that's uh, the attachment of the right angle. Obviously, you have your Jacobs chuck here. And it doesn't have any of the teeth. It just goes on one way and works good. Now, this metal Jacobs chuck is very similar to, this is the 12 volt, um, the actual um, 12 volt hammer drill. And the chucks are pretty similar. I mean, other than this one having, the, you know, the um, stainless steel at the tip, they're not exactly the same size, but they're close. But they, they look, you know, they're actually the same, the exact same type of material. Um, so that's the Jacobs chuck. And to release, you just pull back and it comes right off. Then here I have the, the uh, quarter inch hex for your quick release. And that goes right on there. Finally, you have your offset tool. And that can go on at different angles as well. Here. So I'm going to turn that around. There. So it's kind of like you want to kind of pull it out without pulling it all the way off and then you can rotate it around but you do have to pull it back a bit to get past those teeth so it locks in now um one of the other things you can do with this um, setup you can actually take off your 
offset. You can put on the right angle. And then you can add any one of these other three directly to the tool. So I can get that on there. Go in like this. I can run with the Jacobs Chuck. And then obviously I can also put on the offset tool. So uh, one of the reasons why I picked up this drill is because, uh, well, I saw it advertised, obviously, but the key, the thing that, that really stands out to me in regards to this drill is the fact that I am able to use it for a variety of different um, screwdriver, screwdriving tasks. Obviously, this is almost like just a battery powered screwdriver so it you know with it having a total of 16 different settings plus the drill setting and then also having two speed controls this actually this particular tool can replace something like this here which is you know just a simple um, battery operated screwdriver I can get the same effect with this but then also Short of the hammer function of this drill, you could actually replace this drill as well. So the the flexibility of this particular tool is pretty unique. With a kit like this, you can do anything from as simple as you know maybe um, fixing a you know an out replacing the cover to an outlet um, up to you know constructing something like this you know wood table here. Um, you can do all of those things with a little, you know, drill like this. Now, this is not an impact drill, so it's not necessarily um, for heavy duty applications. It is called an installation driver. So um, if you're putting together, you know, maybe like a simple, um, maybe a cabinet, this will be perfect. It'll help you to be able to get in to tight places with the offset attachment you'll be able to you know get right down to the um to the surface or up against the surface that you're trying to drill into the right angle obviously uh self-explanatory gives you the ability to to curve around something to actually access and uh drill the jacobs chuck gives you standard drilling operations where you can basically use you know all types of drill bits you can use the rounded drill pit drill bit blah. you can use the rounded drill bits as well as the um, typical hex bits quarter inch hex and then for quick release you have this quarter inch hex um, head so overall you, you get a, a variety of functions with this particular drill um, it does have battery indicator it's got a belt hook which can be actually switched out to either side for left and right handed as you can see here it has a um, bit holder so you can just kind of drop your bits on there and they magnetically stay so they don't fall off which is nice there is a light right here up under the uh, drill that basically casts the light onto your work so that you can actually, um, if you were working in a cabinet, you can see what you're getting into. Now, this particular drill um, gives you the ability, you can actually uh, operate it from this standpoint where you're actually, you know, kind of grabbing the drill here. So you're up around the top as opposed to the typical pistol grip. So that gives you a little bit more control like if you want to push down on something you can actually get that kind of force by pushing on the back of the drill without having to take another hand and push down um, as far as weight wise for me personally it feels pretty good it's it's not too heavy at all um, I actually use this drill when um, one of the components on our refrigerator went out and I had to go back in there and replace, I can't even remember which actual part it was, but I had to actually take the whole um, back of the inside of the freezer out and replace a part. And so, you know, the, the area in, in a freezer in a side-by-side -side is pretty narrow. And so I was able to go in with this 
right angle attachment go in there and actually, you know, take out those screws on each side, you know, so, you know, going from my left side, I was able to get them out. And then I was able to just go ahead and rotate this around and take them out from the right side. Now that was as opposed to basically being up there in the cabinet with my hand or up in the refrigerator with my hand bent like this. This is like not a very healthy angle to be operating that with um, a drill for any extended period of time, you know, so I don't have to keep my wrist in this type of, in this angle and, you know, decrease the, the chance of injury. I could actually just pop this on like that. And then my, my wrist is in a neutral position, right? And I'm able to get to the right or to the left um, accordingly. So I, I feel like that's, you know, an ergonomic feature, which is really useful. Also, like if you were going in and drilling up under a cabinet, I can just kind of go in just like this. And then I can take, you know, my um, non-dominant hand and I can actually push up to get into you know into the underside of a you know a work surface it this you know setup has a lot of good um functionality in in my opinion and i do recommend the purchase the battery life for me has been you know pretty good obviously if you're really punishing it and put you know putting it through a lot of heavy duty work you know it may you know you may deteriorate the battery more rapidly like with any tool but then you can go ahead and get one of these 4.0 red lithium M12 batteries or you can get a 6.0 and give you a lot more run time. Now, this tool can stand up on end, but it's, it isn't the most stable for standing up. So like with this being an installation driver and basically um, a, more, a professional person would probably be using this or could be using this to kind of put cabinets and such together. And as a result, you know, if you don't want something like this, like if you had this Jacobs chuck on there and maybe you had a drill bit in there. Now, obviously, it's not even going to stand up like this. But just imagine if you put this drill down and it falls down, you had a drill bit and boom, right into your work, damaging whatever surface you're working on. So you, gotta, you have to be mindful of that, you know. And, you know, obviously, with this belt clip here, if I lay this down like that, that's going to actually mar whatever surface. So these are little things that you have to be mindful of. But overall, um, would I buy this drill again? I absolutely would. I use it all the time. I mean, this is the main drill I use, like if I'm trying to put um, a um, like a carcass to a, a cabinet or a workbench or something together, I'll reach for this as opposed to this because, I mean, quite frankly, I don't necessarily care for working with the Jacobs chuck unless I have to. And with this particular drill, I don't have to work with the Jacobs truck chuck. Now, as I said, this particular drill does not replace an impact that it does not um give you that type of functionality however um it is a versatile drill and like if you were just like say a simple um you know homeowner that you know just fixes small things around the house this will serve you very well and it also gives you that added ability to be able to reach up into awkward positions without you know getting your wrist um into into a bad position which could potentially result in injury down the line um it has as i said 16 different speeds there's a drill setting you've got you know all of your you know you got two speeds on this um overall i mean it seems to be pretty decent build quality it's got this rubber over mode handle, which is, you know, non-slip, so you don't have to worry about dropping it. Um, one of the things that a lot of people may have issue with is this, um, the actual selector up here on the top, because, you know, if you're drilling, you can't really see easily what you're in. You know, most drills have the um, switch the top by the um, trigger where you can just kind of push forward reverse, whereas this one is on top. And that may cause issues like if you're in a cabinet area and you're not able to see 
um, what you, you know, like if you're going forward or reverse, or if you have to switch, like if you're up against a piece of work like this, you know, in a tight area with this particular drill, you may, if you you know, if you don't have clearance here, you may have to actually pull the drill all the way out and change, you know, from forward to reverse and then go back in. That could be a drawback because, you know, that is a little bit um, of an extra step on this particular drill. Um, not a hundred, I mean, obviously you don't have a lot of room here. I mean, this is a pretty um, compact tool for what it is. So um, as a result, you know, say it's, so it's about five, about six, six inches total. But then up here at the top, it's more like five and a half, give or take. Um, the height on this particular tool is close to about seven inches, give or take. Yeah, about seven inches. So um, overall, like I said, I like it. I use it a lot. I mean, this is this is probably like the main drill that I use whenever I'm, you know, definitely like when I'm trying to put things together unless I need the impact function. If I need the impact function, obviously I don't reach for this, but if I just need simple um, drilling, uh, screwing of things, I will use this particular drill. I think it's plenty powerful and um, it's pretty useful, uh, versatile with all of the different uh, clutch settings. So um, that's my overall view of the Milwaukee M12 12 volt lithium ion brushless cordless 4-in-1 installation drill driver by Milwaukee.